Dakota Warren somehow managed to alter my taste in books and because she recommended those I bought them hi I'm Rupal and today I'm dedicating this video to Dakota Warren because she introduced me to classics before her I never imagined that I would read anything other than young adult romance or fantasy but she made me change my mind and now I am reading a lot of classics and liter literature stuff. I don't know what the genres are, but yeah, I'm reading those because of her. And today I'm going to be talking about those books. The first book I read because of her was The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, this book was her book club pick for December and it is now one of my favorite books ever. I just fell in love with it. I think the whole discussion part helped a lot and you know made me understand these characters the different opinions and everything and yeah i have annotated like i have written a whole paragraph here i have highlighted this whole part these are my annotations and yeah, i just love this book so much and i'm so glad that i found her channel because i found a new favorite book the next book uh, i have is the sonnets by william shakespeare I haven't read it completely. I have only read like three or four poems in it because Shakespeare is difficult to read, like really difficult. But um, yeah, I will be reading this in the future someday maybe. So yeah. The next book I read was um, Albert Camus' Outsider. This was um, recommended by her as a part of beginner's way into classics and literature. Um, I gave it three stars because I don't think I am intellectually smart enough for this book because I did not understand the point of this book. So, yeah. Viva Liars by E. Lockhart. Um, I had read this book last year, but my thoughts about this book was influenced a lot by other people's opinion because a lot of people were showing it hate or like telling that it was like an average read it did not make them cry it did not make them feel anything but i reread it this year because this is one of her favorite books ever and it is my favorite book as well i just love the characters the thought process the you know quotes how cadence realizes what she has done the consequences of what she has done and it's just so beautiful that i have bought Dante's Inferno. It is a narrative poem about Dante's journey to, through hell and back and I haven't read it yet because I, it's a poetry format. It's not that difficult to read but it's still uh, really intimidating and I just need some time, a long time, like a year or two before I get myself to read these books. The next book I bought was The Secret History by Donna Tarr. I bought this book specifically for her because she talks about this book in almost all of her videos and I saw on her Instagram story that a person was saying that a character named Henry would feel so lucky to meet her and was like comparing with her to him and it just made me want to read it and here I have it. I have read a hundred pages and I'm loving it so far. It's so beautifully written but I'm also feeling a little bit intimidated by it because there are some things which I just don't understand, the whole Greek stuff and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little bit intimidated, but I will continue it and I will finish it and I'll tell you my opinions on it later. Next book I'm reading is On Earth to Briefly Gorgeous. This is my current read and I am loving it. This writing kind of reminds me of Erin Morgenstern's writing, but why her writing is kind of, you know, like magical and makes you want to escape somewhere else. His writing makes you realize the harsh truths of life, how people react to certain situations, the aftermath of war and stuff, and I just can't stop reading. I, can you see this? I have highlighted almost every single page, almost every single page. Like there are only a few pages, maybe like two or three pages that I haven't underlined a single thing. Otherwise it is just, you know, pink and blue. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is also one of her favorite books and I just 
recently bought it and I have to still read it but I have a feeling that I am going to be liking this book because I don't know I just it just gives me that vibe that I will be loving this book as well Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky um, I had seen this copy a few years back but then I didn't read classics and it did not make sense for me to be keeping this book in my shelf where it will stay untouched but then I saw that Dakota had a similar book like the same book actually and I just knew that that was my sign to buy it and here I have it it's it's also a long read and I have read the first few pages it is intimidating so I'm waiting for myself to get in a nice mood nice setting so that I'll read it then yeah probably after my exams yeah. so these were the books I bought just because of her and the lighting has gone completely dark because I actually started filming this at 5 and now it's 6 so it's dark outside but yeah these were the books I bought because of her and I have added a lot more books in my wish list as well you know which are recommended by her and I hope I will be able to read them in this year as only um, yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe if you want to and um, yeah thank you and if Dakota Warren is watching this then I love you thank you so much for making a channel and I'm just so glad that you exist um, yeah bye